Sheriff Tim Mitchell is facing a dozen felony charges. He was arrested earlier this morning at his home and is now in the Lafayette County Jail. WTVA's Rebecca Butcher joins us live with details on the first accusations against him and what happens next concerning the next sheriff. Rebecca. That's exactly right, Daniela. Well, we've gotten a lot of information from authorities here today. We know that Sheriff Tim Mitchell here from Webster County is charged with a slew of felony charges that include drugs, guns, and alleged sex with inmates. Now, employees here, according to authorities, were threatened if they said anything about all of this reported illegal activity here in the Webster County Jail. Dozens of federal and also local law enforcement agencies were here interviewing inmates and as the shocking investigation gets underway. Sheriff Tim Mitchell was arrested at his home Wednesday morning around 7. His charges include seeking out sex with two female inmates last spring, ordering a deputy to remove four guns from evidence and selling or giving at least some to an employee and an inmate. Each one of those charges, you know, it has some time to serve with it, but, you know, innocent until proven guilty. But just how long had this alleged corruption been going on? The Mississippi Bureau of Investigation dates reported wrongdoing by the sheriff dating back to November 2017. Then Chief Deputy Jeffrey Mann says he resigned at the end of October, writing to the Board of Supervisors that, quote, after witnessing the illegal activities, Sheriff Tim Mitchell has taken part. I cannot be part of this organization. Residents that I spoke to say they were not a fan of the sheriff in the first place. He hasn't done the city of Eupora or Webster County, not nothing, not anything, as long as he's been sheriff. Meanwhile, Mitchell will see a judge tomorrow for an initial appearance. District Attorney Doug Evans says the charges will be presented to a grand jury. The next one is set for January. If somebody else come in and, you know, can do better, but this would this would need to be. And one person that I did speak to say that they're glad this is all coming to light. If true, these accusations against the Webster uh, County Sheriff before he retired, we reported earlier this year that he did plan to retire due to health reasons. Now, meanwhile, the Board of Supervisors here in Webster County are next set to appoint another sheriff in Mitchell's absence. Right now, they are scheduled to meet next week to discuss that decision. We're live tonight in Webster County. I'm Rebecca. Butcher, WTVA 9 News.